Hi guys, Robert here at Max Guitar, talking to you about Murphy Lab guitars. Murphy Lab is of course the lab, uh, consists of four people and Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy is the guru when it comes to aging Gibson guitars like this. Of course, uh, the iconic uh, 58, 59 and 60 guitars are the core of Gibson's business. And uh, what uh, Tom Murphy has been doing since, uh, let's say, the early 90s, he was one of the people starting uh, the Gibson Custom Shop. They have been working towards uh, replicas that are second to none. I mean, they are as close as you can get to an original 59, in this case, without breaking the bank. So they're still, let's say, uh, up there, you know, when it comes to pricing, but because they are special. I mean, they are selected by Tom Murphy and his crew. So they select every single guitar they want to age for resonance, weight, and of course, uh, grain and uh, color, because they select the colors they want. They're all realistic burst colors. And um, Tom Murphy has so much experience in finishing and also aging. He's seen tens or maybe hundreds of real bursts and if you, want, if you hold one of these, they are really realistic. I mean, if, if you see the aging, it's not over the top. This is then a heavy aged guitar that you would see, um, you know, aging like you would see on a real burst. And uh, they add certain touches that nobody else does. It is really like, a, like an old uh, pair of jeans, you know, that you, that, you, uh, that you take on, that you fit on. It's just an immediate fit. We are a Gibson strategic dealer. Uh, meaning that we get everything first, or at least as one of the first in Europe. Uh, you know, we, we have a huge selection, so there's always something for you there if you, uh, you know, come and visit us and test the guitars. And also because we have direct access to the people of Custom Shop. We have a huge... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we asked Tom a few questions to uh, give you a little bit more insight into what he's doing and how special these guitars are. So the first question we asked him is um, the success of this newly launched uh, addition to the Gibson brand, which, uh, which is usually successful already. Um, although the models that you present are not all the models, are you planning some additional models? Well, I really appreciate the reception to the Murphy Lab product and I'm really proud of it. Uh, and we're always looking to expand the features and uh, products out of the lab. Question number two. Here at Max Guitar, we are a huge fan of Custom Shop Explorers and Vs, but currently they're not in the lineup. Can you tell me if you're planning anything along these lines? Although the V and Explorer are not on our core menu, uh, they're available through Made to Measure. I've actually aged, we've actually aged some flying Vs through the Murphy Lab. So question number three was, um, Tom, you've seen hundreds of vintage Gibsons uh, have passed through your hands. Is there any specific detail that you think uh, not a lot of people know about and that you do incorporate in your, in your aging process? So that was question number three. And Tom said... I've learned that there are a lot of consistencies in similar models, but a lot of times you'll find something unique to each piece uh, based on the player, uh, the conditions the guitars were uh, exposed to. Uh, for instance, uh, we have a thing in this area of the guitar, pretty big ding and dent, a little chip there. We call that the rock star bling because it's generally caused from bracelets. So that'll appear on uh, the heavy and ultra heavy age models. So for more information about the Murphy Lab guitars, go to max.guitars.